All right, guys, so welcome back to another Black Sheep Agency podcast. It is me and Hunter Saroy back at it again. In t- today's video, we're going to be talking about two killer strategies to double your clients' results in 2024. Now, client results is directly correlated to client retention, which is such a big component and you being able to scale your agency in 2024. So let's just jump right into it. Hunter, what is the strategy that you're running in 2024 to double your client's results? So I've already been through this. Tell me, tell me if any agency out there has this problem. You work extremely hard to close a client, and then maybe while you're closing them, you're showing them amazing ad creatives and videos that another client has done and they just assume it's going to be easy to get that and it's going to be easy to replicate an amazing video that you've already done. But then, you know, time comes to onboard. They're not getting you videos. They're not getting you pictures. And then even worse, sometimes they're like, hey, actually, this is too hard. I, I want a refund. So after doing that in my first agency, it, it became such a problem that we started creating some white label videos but it was never quite good enough. So we just, we always had this churn machine, people wanting refunds before we even got started. And it was just collecting the client creative was one of the most painful processes ever. So this time around in our new agency with remodelers, home remodelers, contractors, what we're doing, um, I just solved that 100%. So we're about to go. Uh, I hooked up, I, I got a realtor's number in St. Pete, uh, and I hooked us up with an amazing house with a brand new like bathroom and kitchen. And it just looks beautiful on the inside. So we're going to create UGC user generated content that we can run for all clients. And it is going to be kind of universal. So this is uh, this is why you guys should subscribe because until you see it, it, it might not make 100% sense, but we're not mentioning the company or the area. And here's how it will be uh, personalized to each client. So can I share my screen on this? I think I can. Yeah. So here's the literal video script that we're going to run. Can you see this Stevie? Yeah. So we're going to get in front of a camera and we're going to be like, uh, well, number one, we're actually just going to put the headline. So the headline's going to read Tampa and it's just going to be like, Hey, my name's Hunter. And if you're seeing this ad, it means we're already in your neighborhood and we just finished up this project. So we're going to point to a picture that we're just going to pull off a client's website that they've already done. And you can see it came out beautifully. If you're interested in making your dream kitchen, bathroom, or outdoor space come to life, and you want to increase the value in your home, we're taking 25% off installation costs for a limited time. So if you want to join our happy home remodeling customers like these guys, these guys, and these guys, and every time we say that, we're going to cut into a job from what they've done from their website. So we don't even need them to send us pictures. We're just going to go capture all this. Then click learn more below and claim your spot before somebody else does. So we're going to go ahead and run that. Um, and one of the number one things you guys can do to lower CPL and the cost per lead is just being in an area that makes sense and it's congruent to the ad. So if I'm running ads like in here in my office, it's not going to hit as well as like if I'm standing in a beautiful kitchen or bathroom. So it'll kind of insinuate that that company has just done that work, but the personalization part, it takes us five minutes. I'm going to have a VA pull pictures and just put them in the ad. So we're going to have this formatted, already created thing that we can run for all clients so that when I talk to them and I sign them up, I'm like, cool, see you in a week. We're going to go live. Like I don't need them to get pictures or videos. So that's Mm -hmm. the number one constraint that we found. And anybody who has some extra time on their hands, go out and actually invest in a nice camera for a little bit. If you have a nice iPhone, it's probably good enough. But if you can get user generated content for your clients and make it universal and get strategic with the words that you're saying so that you can run it for all clients, you can crush and it'll never be reliant on a client to win because we've also noticed the best clients are obviously the ones that can talk very well and be in front of a camera. But if they can't, they're just screwed. And it's almost a terrible feeling on a sales call because you're like, this person's not going to get results. They're not going to be able to get a video or a picture. So that's what we're up to. Absolutely huge. So basically... You're solving the dilemma of one, getting content from the client, which is already a difficult task. Two, the quality of the content that your client does give you most times are, is just not up to par and is not going to work in general. So then you have to have that difficult conversation. So now you are putting this into your own hands and doing your, uh, investing your own time and doing whatever it takes 
to go to a location, shoot a bunch of awesome high quality ads that you can basically use for all of your clients so that creative isn't going to be a huge barrier to you guys getting good lead flow. Yeah, because when you think about it as well, you start to really become a commodity when you're like, okay, now that you're paying us, go go make us some videos. It's like, well, then what am I paying you for? Um, so we're trying to, yeah, break that perception yeah. as well. So we're trying to become like a legitimate marketing agency where like every quarter I'm going to pay for actors to come in amazing yeah. houses and like do more videos. Yeah, that's huge. This is like, guys, in Facebook ads, TikTok, IG, the creative is literally the biggest, has the biggest impact on the campaign's performance. And so for those of you guys who aren't thoroughly innovating in creative and really trying to take it to the next level, I think is going to really miss the boat in 2024. And this is, I honestly love this strategy. So that's fire. Yeah, and before you jump into your shout out Darian, who's in the Black Sheep Agency uh, community, he was one of the people that actually like, I was just like, why the hell don't I do that? Somebody in our uh, cur in our curriculum and community right now went out and recorded ads for his client, and immediately the results like improved times. I don't know, well, they weren't getting anything, so they just started to oh, get yeah, a crap yeah, ton yeah. of leads. So yeah, if you guys put some extra time and love and attention yeah. into your clients, and you don't just run generic bull crap, they'll actually yeah. get results. It's crazy. Love it. All right, guys. So my strategy here we go. So how many of you guys out there? are generating appointments for your clients and they're still canceling because they cannot convert them. Now that is extremely painful because you're basically doing exactly what you said you're going to do, which is deliver appointments, deliver them consistently and even have them be qualified. But at the end of the day, they're just not closing them and that's directly affecting your client retention because they're canceling. And that's lost revenue. So what we're doing and actually what we've been doing already uh, was a huge test run in Q4 is we're actually doing a one hour Zoom call, which is what it's about. Before we launch, it's, it's booked on the onboarding call. And this is a live sales role play on Zoom with our client. And this is where they literally act as if we're a patient no cutting corners, exactly I wanna know how you take me from A to Z, from the first thing that comes out of your mouth all the way till what card I'm putting on file. And we walk all of our clients through that. And the big benefit here is we immediately know who's in the red. Like this is gonna be a no matter what huge red flag, even if we deliver all the appointments because the sales process is so shit. Or we understand who's in the yellow, like, hey, this is, you know, pretty sound fundamentals. And then we know who's in the green, meaning like this is top notch sales process, love where the mind's at, this is going to be a good client. And so before we even start the campaign, we already know who's going to have closing issues and we can give immediate feedback, immediate tips. And for the people who need more help and need more uh, structure, we can go ahead and book these types of calls with them more frequently so we can help raise their sales IQ and increase their close rates as fast as possible. Now, when we look at the data, 80% of our client cancels came from low close rates. So I'll give you an example. If five people canceled, four of those clients had less than a 10% close rate. So closing was a huge contributing factor to our clients canceling. Now that data, if I'm not mistaken, is screaming that our clients, especially these ones, need our product to help them in this part of the process to generate revenue. In my, I'm not crazy, right? So churn isn't just gonna lower itself it's not going to lower, turns not going to lower by itself. And these clients aren't just going to fix the problems by themselves. You have to take it into your, it's your responsibility. It's your problem. If you want to fix that, then you got to get your hands dirty and get in there and fix that. And that's exactly what we're doing. And so we've been doing it now for three months. We've had incredible feedback, especially for the clients who are the average type client who just need that new 
hey, we're gonna literally just revamp your sales process. It's such a crazy value add. It's absolutely insane. And so um, that's something that we're, we're doing. Who, who does that training? Great question. So our senior account manager does that training and what makes this special is she actually has uh, over 10 years experience as a medical consultant, as a sales coach, scaling clinics across the United States, 10 from the ground up, was the third highest grossing uh, BioT hormone clinic in the United States. So when it comes to uh, systems, sales, all that type of stuff, it's just such a valuable resource. So um, that's who's doing it. I think, um, I think a lot of people are like reluctant to give their clients sales advice because they don't, I guess they think that the client knows better than them. But a lot of these people are like hurting for actual coaching and advice. Like even if they don't raise a hand up, nobody wants to admit that they need help. But if you just go in and do it, I think that's extremely smart. I'm going to copy that. And I guess yeah. like if I don't have somebody, because I don't right now, it's a new agency that has crazy experience, I can go just research on YouTube, find a bunch of sales, best practices, and then just kind of coach my people up on that too. Cause the other thing is like, you don't need to constantly teach your clients new things in sales. It's that's what coaching is. You're just reminding them of the things that they already know. So like, sometimes it's good to just get practice in too, and then see people live. And then they, even they can be like, Oh, I did a shitty job. I should probably get better. Of course. I mean, a thousand percent. Yeah. That's our, that's our goal, man. If, if we have a lot of people, if a lot of our retention is coming from that specific issue, then that's where we're going to start investing a lot more um, energy. And so we just find it's, it's been helpful uh, for those of you guys who are like, how do I do this? Well, first, if you don't feel like you can do it, um, this is probably where you can start thinking who can you start bringing on your team who has industry influence and, and um, experience so that they can actually really help out in this arena. Let's get oh. it, baby. Double the client results. That's it, guys. Client results, 2024. Creatives, I love it. We just gave you one on marketing, how you can, you know, take it to the next level from your client's marketing, making it easy for them. And then obviously this is my strategy on helping your clients improve close rates rather than, you know, just doing nothing. Yep. So in 2024, make a list of all the constraints that your client can have, which is getting you creatives, number one, then number two, actually booking their appointments, then number three, actually doing their sales. And maybe it takes a year or even more to tackle all of these things, but you have to make the list and actually be aware of it and then just start moving down it. So yeah, making creatives, finding appointment setters and actually building that out and then helping with sales. Yep. Then you're a machine. It is truly turnkey at that point. Yep. So the number one SMMA in every industry is going to take marketing strategy to the next level and have it be as easy for the client uh, to interact with. They're also going to dial in appointments. It's going to be as effective as possible and it's going to require very little energy from the client to interact with. And then the third pillar is closing. If you can max out marketing, max out appointments, and now you're increasing their ability to close. That means ROI, that means client results, that means retention, that means increasing your prices, that means longer LTV, that means you guys really making a bigger impact, which is what this is all about. So 